Hi everybody, it's Webflow Joe with an effing sweet Webflow hack. In this hack, we learn how to create dynamic Webflow CMS generated anchor links and sections. Let's see how it works. We're in the live example and we can see a working submenu with sections. And look how we are properly anchor scrolling to each section. HelloSign was created in the CMS. We created a link for it and we created a section with the ID HelloSign. In Designer, we have two collection lists on the page. The first collection list is going to hold all of the anchor links. The second collection list is going to hold all of the sections that we'll be scrolling to. These collection lists go to the same exact collection, the Hack4 Anchor Links collection. And you can see it is the same here. They also have the same sort order. You can see sort order, order and list, smallest to largest. And the same thing here with this collection list. This is very important. If these sections are not ordered in the same way, this hack won't work. It is 100% dependent on the links and the sections being exactly in the same order. So you can see we have HelloSign, we have Streak, we have HubSpot, we have Salesforce. In our CMS, we have a really simple setup for this hack. Your collections can be complex, they can be simple, it doesn't matter. As long as we have a text field and some way to order, we're good. You can order by date, you can order by alphabetical, whatever you want, as long as they show up the same way in the same order here. Onto the classes, we have hack for filter button set up for these filter buttons. And inside that filter button, we have a link to the CMS for the name field. This is the text field that we need. And we're going to take that text field, turn it into an ID, and then create the IDs for this section. So make sure that inside your filter button, we have a text block, an H1 paragraph, whatever you want, that is linked to the text field in the CMS. And then here in the sections, we have a class of hack for CMS anchor section. Let's break down the code line by line. Before our closing body tag, we're going to insert our script. When the DOM is ready, we're going to create an empty array that will store the link text strings. This empty array is essentially a list, and that list is going to be populated with information later on in the code. For each of our filter buttons, we're going to run this code. And for each section on the page, we're going to run this code. For each filter button, we're going to take the text content of that button and we're going to reformat it to a valid, easy to access ID. So it's going to replace some characters that may not work well with ID and it's going to change everything to lowercase. So in our example of HelloSign, we're going to change that to HelloSign, which is a much better way to access an ID and to use an ID. And then we're going to store all of that new reformatted text in a variable called link text. And now we're going to create a link. We're actually building our own link with jQuery. And we are using the attribute method. And the attribute that we're creating is the href attribute. And we're all very familiar with href. This is how you link to anything in a web page, whether it be a new page within your site or a page outside of your site like google.com or in this example, an anchor link within our own page. And the format of this href is going to be a hash symbol plus our link text variable that we created up top. So our hello sign reformatted text is now going to get this hash symbol. And then we're going to push all of these text link variables we created up here to our text array. 
This empty array is now starting to get information. We're populating it with information that we can use to start lining it up with the sections. And moving on to the sections, for each section, we are going to use the attribute method to now create IDs for these sections. And the IDs are going to be from this link text array that we created up top. So we started pushing all of these text strings to the array, and now we are going to access that information down here and create the IDs for each section. So it happens sequentially, which is why it is so important to order your links and your sections in the same exact way. The first section gets an ID from the first in the text array, the second section in the second of the text array, and third in the third of the text array. Please note that zero is one. Zero is the first value here in JavaScript. So for our example, hello sign shows up first in the linked list, is going to go to the hello sign section. Same with streak, and so on. So it's sharing information and it's lining up each link with the section below. And now we have links that scroll down to sections within our page, all created through the CMS. Thank you so much for checking out this hack. Please clone the project. We have the entire hacks project available for clone. Start learning how these hacks work and use them on your live site. We're always releasing new hacks. So if you want to be updated, subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you want a super simple plain text email when we release a new hack, sign up at finsuite.com slash hacks dash updates. If you want to request a hack, we'll check it out and see if it's possible in Webflow. Go to finsuite.com slash hacks dash request. That's effing sweet.